All right. Hello. Good evening, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1. We are about to start up Episode 2, Start for Help. And I'm your host, R. Stern, a.k.a. Reaper Strain 006. And that's pretty much it for the introduction. You know who I am. I know who you are. Maybe. <laughs> so let's get this started. Hit it, Lee. Previously. Come on, Lee. Lee? Ah, damn it, Lee. Come on. Missing your cue. Oh, he's probably camera shy. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got Watch another out. good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. This game ser well, this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, no, between the lack not. of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. 
Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Everybody's got a problem with me in particular. Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Shadow bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. If it was a deer, maybe. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! I can already tell the act is my weapon of choice now. Preferably, I like the screwdriver. Enough stuff kills. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Hey, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, <laughs> this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, God. Please, save this is him. Bad. Really bad. Just Lee, get me please, out of this. You just leave him like this? Screaming? We're gonna be surrounded any minute. Please! Get There's me out gotta of be this. some... Try to cut the chain! I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Let's go, let's go! Lee, <laughs> it has to be now! I wonder if there's another way to get him out. Damn it, Lee, just cut out your leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go, now! What do you think I'm doing? Ah. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move!
No, no, she's still alone and doesn't have a scope or a gun. <laughs> she really that hardcore? Probably. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee, I, I don't know. <laughs> Lee, what the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mom? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough Ooh. for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come so over we go here tribal. and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Power trip. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. Nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Wow. In my mind, I already know what to do. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. It just came out. It's all about politics, man. Politics and influence. Let's get a set rep. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But Lee, this man has no leg. Silent treatment. <laughs> well... You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Wait a minute, that... Sure. Right. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I oh, promise. Shit, I didn't if cut I this find it, yet. I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. 
Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Let's do some post treatment in a minute. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. You know what you like to make it? Plot device. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure so hope so. A... Athlete. Sort of. How are you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Today's your lucky day. <laughs> Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Let's see. Give me the apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are Excellent. there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is. I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Oh, he's cocky. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? It's a... Uh, cheese and crackers. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Politics. <laughs> All right. Uh, take care of the gunners. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carmen. Want something to eat? Let's see. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. 
You're one of our guns. Keep your strength up. Might need you later. You still have a purpose. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. This does sound like a smart idea. Ain't with the boat and all. And again, staying here, everybody's starving, so this place is already used up. It's time to move on. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I'm gonna cut it here for a second, then I'm gonna try to fix it in editing. One second. BRB. The Walking Dead, episode two, continues. Catchers are very busy working on a dude. Take a look at the fence. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Hmm... I'm gonna give it to Larry. Looks a bit stronger. Here, this mark was getting weaker. Up. Try not to make too much noise. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Here, Larry. You look like a druggy guy. Well, he would want you to keep your strength up. That girl That's needs to quit worrying about me so you're dark. Oh, man. <laughs> Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I gotta get some to the sniper. Here. Because, yeah, if she falls, we all fall. I don't want anything from you. I'll take it anyway. Don't be a bitch about it. <laughs> like I used to say, her. 
<laughs> you better take these damn crackers. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. I keep my gunners well fed. Not such an easy job, is it? Actually, it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Type the game quoting itself. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Yeah, that frame drop. <laughs> there are crucial moments. Get on with the damn way! Damn it! I had it! Fuck! Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. A sense of dread. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. 